In this video, we're going to discuss the composition of solutions and how we're able to quantify the composition of a solution. Uh, on a basic level, like we discussed briefly in the first video, we know that a solution is composed of two elements, right? It was composed of a solute and a solvent, right? Where the solute is whatever substance is d dissolved in the solution, right? So the solute is the dissolved substance. And the solute in this case is the dissolving medium, right? So it's whatever medium is causing the substance to be dissolved. So this is going to be the dissolving medium. Right, and the composition of the solution is going to depend on an interplay between the solute and the solvent how much of each one is present in the solution. And you already have a little bit of an intuitive understanding of what I'm talking about here, right? If you've made any type of drink, like let's say you made lemonade, right? You know that if you put more of the lemonade packet in the water, then you're going to get a more intense yellow color versus if you put less, you'll get less of an intense color and less of an intense taste, right? You'll have a more dilute, um, you know, glass of lemonade, a more dilute solution, right? So um, I drew three examples here, right, to kind of illustrate that, right? So this first example is if you had five grams of your solute in 100 milliliters of solvent, you would have a very intense color, right? If this is a very, this would be a very concentrated solution, right? We're kind of looking at the concentration of each one of these, right? So basically how much solute is in the solution relative to the solvent, right? Um, the second one is three grams of solute in 100 grams of solvent, right? Less of an intense color, right? Um, and the last one is one gram of solute in 100 grams of solvent. And there you just get a very faint green color, right? So each one of these solutions has a different concentration because there's different amounts of solute present. So the way that we uh, quantify this concentration of solution, we can, we can quantify it in uh, multiple different ways, but the most popular method is to use something called the molarity. And we use a capital M to denote molarity. So this is the molarity. And the way that you calculate the molarity is you take the moles of your solute, so the number of moles of your solute, and you put that over the liters of your solution. Right? So if you have, you know, a particular number of moles of your solute in a volume of your solution, right, then that's going to be your molarity, right? So obviously the moles is going to be in units of moles and the volume of your solution is going to be in liters. And so that gives you the molarity, right? So we might describe a, um, we might describe a solution in terms of um, saying it's one M, right? So this is the concentration of that solution and we would say, okay, this is a one molar solution, right? By saying that the molarity is one, right? So you'll basically have one mole per liter of solution. That's going to be one molar. That's how you say and, and cl classify the molarity. And this tells you the concentration of the solution. And so if you have a solution that's one molar versus a solution that's five molar, this means that now you have more solute per liter of solution. So this would be a more concentrated, right? This five molar solution would be more concentrated than the one molar solution uh, would be, right? So this gives us a way to quantify this composition of a solution and to be able to put it on some sort of quantitative footing, the concentration of a given solution. So let's look at a, an example problem. So this problem says calculate the molarity of a 5.623 gram solution of sodium bicarbonate that is dissolved in enough water to make a 250 milliliter solution, right? So you have, you're given the mass 
of your solute, right? In this case, your solute is uh, sodium bicarbonate and your uh, solution, your total solution is going to be 250 milliliters, right? So the first thing that we want to do, we want to know how many moles of our solute is in this solution. So the first thing we want to do is uh, convert this mass to moles, right? So we have 5.623 grams of sodium bicarbonate. So now we're going to need the molar mass for sodium bicarbonate, which is 84.01 grams of sodium bicarbonate for every one mole of sodium bicarbonate. Right, so when you do the math here, you get 0 0.067 moles of sodium bicarbonate in this solution, right? So we got the number of moles of our solute. So now we just have to put this into the equation for the molarity in order to solve, right? And we also have to convert this guy, right? Given that you're, you're given the volume in milliliters, right? For it to be a valid molarity, you have to use the liters of solution. So 250 milliliters is going to be 0 0.25 liters of solution, right? So we're going to use that to calculate the molarity, right? So the molarity is going to be equal to 0 0.067 moles of sodium bicarbonate, right? That's the number of moles for our solute. And the total uh, liters of solution is 0 0.25 liters, right? We have moles per liter, so this is a molarity. So we have a 0.27 molar solution of sodium bicarbonate in this example, right? So this was a pretty straightforward example. The only thing you had to really do here is just convert your mass to moles and make sure you're using the right uh, volume uh, units here for your volume to calculate the molarity properly, right? So that gives you an introduction into how we quantify the composition of a solution, right? We How we quantify this interplay between the solute and the solvent, we use the molarity, and these are pretty easy to calculate um, when you're given the mass of your solute.